Not gonna lie, I forgot there was a cutscene. Welcome one and all, welcome into the wonderful world of Pokemon. Our beloved Gala region is a wonderful place with thriving nature. Beautiful cities and many Pokemon with which we share our lives. As you know, our society is able to thrive. Thanks for the help from the mysterious creatures that we call Pokemon. Yes, Pokemon are all around us in the sea, in the sky, and even with us in our towns. And those of us who choose to raise and train Pokemon to do battle and compete, we call Pokemon Trainers. Oh, but I'm getting carried away. Please allow me to introduce myself. My name is Rose, and it's a pleasure to be here. Now turn your gaze to the Gala region's greatest Pokemon trainer, your undefeated champion! It's time for Champion Leon's exhibition match! Exhibition or not, Leon, your pristine record is about to end when I beat you here today! You know I don't lose battles, Rihon. Charizard Dynamax! What is going on, dudes? My name is Lot13. That was, uh. My name is Lot13, and welcome to. Here. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna go over the rules of a Wonder Wedlock because this whole story bit in the beginning I don't really care about we're gonna skip through it because there isn't much aside from us getting started I guess but I've done a Wonder Wedlock every game there has been wonder trading uh, since X and Y which has been you know every set of games so pretty cool stuff uh, yeah and it was originally started as a like a way to do sort of like an extreme randomizer if anybody and if anybody knows what I'm talking about who I'm referring to but is it you that's not his voice that's just I'm just making fun of him anyways so we're gonna go over the Nuzlocke rules and specifically the Wonder Wedlock rules if you have never watched a series like this before so Okay, so I didn't do a bad job at explaining this, but I feel like I can do it a little faster, so we're gonna do it like this. The Nuzlocke rules. First off, if a Mon faints is dead, it can't be used anymore, has to be boxed or released. You must nickname every Pokemon so you develop a bond with them, and you care if you lose them, and a rule that some Nuzlocke's use, but you don't necessarily have to, is you can only catch the first Pokemon on each route or area that you encounter. Now for the Wedlock specific rules, you have to have two Pokemon that are differing in gender, and they must be paired together. It's not for any specific reason other than Pokemon diversity. A non-gendered Pokemon will actually just take the role of the opposite gender that isn't represented by the Pokemon you are pairing it with. When you go into a battle, the pair that you have first, you can only switch between those two Pokemon during the battle. If one Pokemon in a pair dies, the other must battle alone to avenge it. If that Pokemon also dies, you will have to go into another pair. In the case of a double battle, because this happened in the Ultra Sun Wonder Wedlock, a whole new pair must switch in. Because the game forces you to bring in another Pokemon, so you have to bring in a Pokemon from a different pair, then you have to swap out the Pokemon that is surviving, for the other Pokemon in that other pair. Now, the Wonder Lock rule, there's really only one that's different from any of the others, which is that every encounter you get must be Wonder Traded. A couple of clauses that will affect the Pokemon I get in the Wonder Trade are Dupes Clause and or Duplicates Clause. This means if I have a Pokemon and I receive that same Pokemon in another Wonder Trade or a Pokemon in its evolutionary line, I can trade it back out because I already have that Pokemon. Another clause is the level cap clause, where if I receive a Pokemon that is above the level that I am allowed to catch, or 
that will listen to me, I can trade it back out. Gender Claws, if the Pokemon I receive in a Wonder Trade is the same gender as the Pokemon that I am trying to pair it with, I have to trade that Pokemon back out. As I mentioned, non-gendered Pokemon can fill either the quote-unquote male or female slot. Another one is the Type Claws where if I receive a Pokemon and a Wonder Trade that is of the same type as the Pokemon I'm trying to pair it with, I can trade that Pokemon that I received back out. And something else that I am implementing for the series is if I have five unsuccessful trades in a row, meaning every Pokemon that I receive breaks one of these clauses, I will use a random number generator to pick a Pokemon from a box to pair with the Pokemon that I need to pair. This will allow me to do less Wonder Trading and possibly will allow me to use a Pokemon that I have never used before. Before we get to the speed up part before I'm able to actually wonder trade, make sure to answer the comment question of the day which is up in the top right corner below the actual series logo. If you answer the question in the comments below, you might get a Pokemon named after you. I would love to name the Pokemon that I get to use after viewers. So make sure you comment and let's get to the video. I'm probably going to speed through this because there is a decent amount that happens before we get the opportunity to wonder trade. So, I know how to play the game. officially wonder trade now Ugh. <laughs> anyways yeah so that the whole XP sharing thing is gonna make it very difficult in the sense that my Pokemon are gonna get super over leveled and I feel the biggest obstacle I will have in this game will be Pokemon listening to me uh, but I'm going to avoid as many trainers as I can and save them for actual grinding if I lose a Pokemon or something like that. Um, but, yeah, I nicknamed all the Pokemon that I... Okay, well, I have... I'll just go deposit Pokemon in the boxes. Whatever. Shut up, dude. I don't care. Just leave me alone. Yeah, you see Pokemon wandering and me are slow and crouching. I don't care. So the whole tutorial section in this game is just the worst. 
So, I'm gonna skip her until I get Pokemon that I can train up. I couldn't skip the other two trainers, despite actually wanting to. You'll never beat me in the station. I- well, you literally can sprint faster than I can. And you get the opportunity to teleport. Also, I think that we can get the Galarian Slowpoke at some point. Um, I don't remember if you actually have to have the DLC in order to get that or not. I don't even know how the DLC works, if I'm being honest. So I'm going to move these guys into the box, and I'm going to keep the, the, the Grookey for now. And, yeah, I got it. Shut up. I don't know why I haven't gotten any stamps either. But we're going to trade these off. And we'll keep the Grookey so I can train up my team. Another clause I forgot to mention is shiny claws, provided I actually encounter a shiny, I'm allowed to catch it. So, there's that. I decided just to mention that. Because I, I realized it while I was going about it. Ooh, Vulpix. That's not what I expected to get as our first Pokemon. We're going to do a surprise trade. We're going to do, let's see. You're level 21. You're above the level cap. Believe it or not, the level cap before the first gym is 20. So, I unfortunately have to trade it back out. <laughs> Great. This is what I was worried about. Also in the wild area, I think I'm going to pick... I'm going to get two total encounters. I'm going to get the one in the, in the lower level first area, and then my second when we are able to catch Pokemon in the second area, which will be quite a while. All right. I just need a Pokemon below level 20. Preferably... Oh, my... Imagine. Imagine. Bulbazar? Oh, my gosh. Is that actually... Bruh, is that legitimately its name? Oh my gosh, where are you from? That is the fr is that legitimately the French name? Oh my god, bruh, I- I love French even more. Dude, I love that. That is incredible. <laughs> that is our first Pokemon! My favorite Pokemon is our first one in the Wonder Bedlock. Nice! I don't... Do I even name you? Do I even go Pudge? Or do I name you? I just leave it as Bulbazar. Because I love that. Well, Bulbazar. Welcome to the team. Cannot do a French accent, but... We'll decide... I'll have to decide if I'm going to name it Pudge. Which is my typical name for Bulbasaur. Trade has been completed. Who did we trade with? Steve French. Interesting name. A snom. Snowmobile. Oh my gosh, dude. The names have been incredible. Are you female? I really hope you are. Oh, it's no, it's a male. Oh, that stinks. Dude, that would have been really cool. All right. Let's see. We need a female non-grass type that is l below level 20. <laughs> I guess technically. Oh my gosh. Dude, like, imagine. Imagine Venusaur in Melotic. Yeah! Oh, it's level 34. Really? It's a, it's a Dynamax. Like, someone got that Dynamax or something. Darn it. All right. Oh my gosh, a drought again. Well, that's going to be way too high level. Yeah. This is exactly why I put that rule into place. Because what? Let's see, we traded it off, we got the Snom, it was a male, couldn't keep it. Feebas, too high level. Drudigan, way too high level. This is going to be number four. Again, we need a female, non-grass type. While it may be a Psyduck, it's in a quick pull that is likely a level 60 Psyduck. Okay, that is number four. One more, and I will be going to bring in those Pokemon from Pokemon Home. All right, big money no whammy, Toad. I need something. Come on. Sizzlepeed. 
It's caught in a great ball, so it was likely the one from Kabu's gym. So that is likely level like 25. Oh, well, it's male. Oh my gosh. All right. Even though that's five, we'll, tr we'll want to trade it off because we got a level one, but I don't want to go to home. <laughs> Come on. A dino, or dino, how do you pronounce it? Interesting. Are you gonna be female? I hope so. Oh my gosh, dude, all right, yep, that's it. Like, it's a good dino, too. The problem is, is that, actually, let me do something real quick. I'm going to bring Bulbazar into the party I'm also gonna leave its name as Bulbizaw because I love that name way better than I was gonna say way better than onion but I don't I, I wouldn't say better than onion but because onion was the name I gave to a Bulbasaur and fire red when I did a nuzlocke on that a long time ago and then onion was what I named the the um, the Bulbasaur I picked in Kalos Neither of those series are on the channel anymore. But basically I'm doing this so I can trade off, uh, get Bulbasaur up to a high enough level that it can fend for itself, and then want to trade out the Grookey as well, and see if I can get something that I can pair with it. Because we're going to be pairing with Bulbasaur, not Dino. 100%. Bulbasaur is my starter. Alright, level 6. Alright, that'll work. That's plenty. That's probably plenty. With growth and fine whip, it can, t it can take down that that trainer. Well, it looks like we're fighting a Zigzagoon as well. No, we're not. We're gonna run from it. That was a very quick trade. All right, trading out Wonderwood Lock the Grookey. What are we gonna get? Look that! Yeah, that breaks type clause. If it's even female. I'm not gonna pair with Dino, with Dino, cause I'm right now attempting to pair with Bulbasaur. So it's male anyway. So who cares? All right, HZL, what you gonna say, to me? Well, imagine. Oh, it's male. Okay. Whew. Well, I'm not actually happy about that. I, I I saw in the Pokedex entry, it's got longer. The I believe the male has the longer whiskers. I don't know. There may be another different gender difference between Magikarp, but ah. Uh... Okay. Cleek, what you gonna send me? Sorry to send you a Magikarp. May not be that bad, but I wasn't really caring. Well, there's a 1 in 8 chance this is a female score bunny. That would be hilarious. Imagine! Alright, well, there we go. That is our first pair. And they're they're both starters. That is wild. Okay, what do I even name, name a female score bunny? I also have decided that I'm going to be doing a healing clause sort of thing. I guess clause. It's, I don't know why I said clause, but basically try attempting to make this more challenging. Along with skipping as many of the trainers as I can so I can, you know, save them for grinding and not get super over leveled. Um, my goal is to be two levels lower than the gym leader's strongest Pokemon approximately or something like that. I don't, I don't know how exactly I'm going to make it work now, but... God dang, Bobasaur, he's so cute. Uh, let's see, what am I trying to say? Healing. So, I'm going to not try to heal in battle. Um, in normal trainer battles, I'm thinking twice, maybe if it's necessary, but most likely just once. Um, in boss battles, I will give myself more. Uh... But it will depend on the the way that my team deals with that typing. 
if it's just like a, a battle like against Hopper, well, specifically Hop, um, then we'll deal with it as it goes. I guess that's not even. Uh, it'll be a normal amount of healing, and then you know I'm gonna I'm gonna. Damn it! I was trying to run around it. I guess that's not really important. But anyways, I just wanted to mention that. I'm going to attempt to not do a lot of healing. So that we can possibly, you know, make make this game somewhat challenging. Oh my goodness! You are defensive as heck. Or I am not very physically offensive. Alright, Bulbasaur, we gotta run. The name I have in mind for the female score bunny, it's like, I kind of want to do it. But... At the same time, it's so generic that, damn it, I don't want to do it. I was thinking Judy, but thinking about it, that's also my Lopany name. So we're not going to go with that. Okay, so I thought about it a little bit. Um, it hasn't been very long because I was thinking about it actually as I was talking about the, you know, the very generic name of Judy. But specifically like in reference to Judy Hops from Zootopia. That was the only reason, because it's a rabbit. Um, but, Score Bunny's name is going to be Anna. Now, there's a reason for it. Speci it, it, it kind of just works, I guess, color-wise, but um, I, I named my Score Bunny when I played through the original, the original, well, I played through this game the first time. I named him Nate, because of a tweet Nate put out about the starters that I really, really liked. Uh, Nate being Nate wants to battle and uh, a person who has done a lot of things with Nate including dice camera action a D&D series they were in for a while was a person named Anna Prosser uh, so I decided that I'm going to name the score bunny Anna so pretty cool stuff I like the name actually so it works so that was Zalkim how much you catch I got a really special one and you got not one what were you doing this whole time I'm doing a Nuzlocke you're gonna want a team of your trainer well, I... Thanks. Um, yeah. You know. Let's take the machine. A TM mate! I don't even know what voice I was giving him. With team like that, you can teach your Pokemon a new move in a flash, and you use them again and again, too. They can teach move Swift. They gave it to me ages ago, and now it's yours. The gym chairs will begin in Motostoke, and our train's waiting, so let's go! Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure it's Motostoke and not Motostoke. So we're just gonna... I'm gonna actually go with Motostoke now instead of Motostoke, like I said last time. Not quite so fast, you two. What are you doing here, Mom? I knew this day was coming since the moment you chose Sabo as a partner, darling. That was literally yesterday. Person Magnolia was kind, of, kind enough to let us know you two were setting out. Well, I told you that- I literally told you that yesterday. <laughs> So here, Lesso will get to see you well on your way. All the kits you'll need for camping. Cool. I should have actually gone and see if I could buy backpacks at the Witcher's store there. No matter what happens out there, if you and your partner are together, I know you'll be fine. Thanks, Mom. And just, th you, just think how lucky you are. Mother, the first ever pair of champion brothers. I'm certain to be the champion next. You'll see. Of course you will be, darling. Anyway, do have fun. Take care of yourselves. You'll be better welcome back home anytime. We'll be fine. Wish us luck. Not that we'll need it. The loads of brilliant trainers and all kinds of Pokemon out there waiting for us. My excitement's running ahead of me even faster than that train could go, Zalkyum. Come on, we're off. Sure. Motostoke is surrounded by a vast wild area. It's a real sight. There's all sorts of wild Pokemon just wandering about everywhere you look. Plus, you can camp out, do spotted fishing. I don't think I could ever get tired of it. Honestly, the wild area is one of the be best things about the game. It's very... There, that's one of the very few things that I actually like. Really like about this game. Hey, Station Master, isn't this the wild area? What were we stopped here for? Yes, the wild area station. Make no mistake. I'm sorry to tell you, train assaulted due to flock of Wooloo on the tracks. What's there to be sorry about? This is brilliant! What is? Well, there is massive. There are loads of Pokemon to battle here. You get it. Dungeons all game is the best possible place to put together the greatest team. Indeed. 
Oh, thank you for the Poké Dolls. Actually, that's very helpful. Remember how strong a Pokémon is, you'll be able to catch it eventually. So long as you gather the gym, challenge, gym, gym badges. But that's not necessarily an easy task. I'm very worried about the the XP share. I hate it. That's the thing is I legitimately despise the fact that that is always on because in you know every other Wonder Wedlock, I have turned it off. So I'm actually gonna disconnect from the internet right now because I don't want my game lagging because there are people all over the wild area. I should say lagging more than it normally does because it lags quite a lot here. Yeah, that one's a special one. I don't know. That's Monostoke, way off that way. Between there and here are countless new Pokemon waiting to be met. Well, there is... You can count them. There is a maximum of 400 in the normal decks. So it's one of those. Oh, hello, and if it, if it isn't Sonya... My grand gave me a pop at in her own way. Those two young trainers are setting out a journey. What are you doing with your life? That sounds rough. Ah, oh, never you mind that. Never worry yourselves over. Besides, I've been quite curious about that Pokemon you two met in the forest. I've been thinking I should look into it so the time it works out fine. If I discover something really huge, and maybe even Grendel, man, I've got some talent. Yeah, being a dull has got his own challenges, huh? So I said you needn't worry about it. I'm glad to be on the road. Really, it's been ages. It'd be great fun to fish in camp and rough it outside again. Well, I'll have to go stick my head in many of those red glowing dens I can find. I'm gonna battle snot of a bunch of Dynamax and fill in another page in the Tailman legend. Do, do, do. What cheek? Oh, what cheek? Dynamax Pokemon really on another level, you know. You better Dynamax partner Pokemon too if you want to take on opponents that strong. You find spots here and there in the wild area that mid a red beam of light. If you think you're up to it, check them out. There'll be Dynamax Pokemon lurking inside. So, with that, how about sending you off a little treat from me? Box Link. Sweet. That'll be helpful. My Pokemon Box Link, you'll be able to put better, better, better. I don't care. So go wild catching as many Pokemon as you like, fill more of your Pokedex. And while that's waiting for you, start a real adventure. I, I gave you the wrong voice. I'm pretty sure this is the voice that I used. Or maybe I used that for Marnie, dude. I don't know. <laughs> I don't remember. It's been too long. I I even Hop's voice is different than when I originally did it. His is his more like berries, it's like super fast. And stuff, but. I'm not going to be able to catch a lot of these strong spawns early, so I'm going to have to be careful. While there are your Pokemon are strong, whatever. Yeah, I have to avoid them. And we're going to catch a random wild Pokemon. I don't care. Stop giving me... I don't need you to give me notes. Granted, I might have to go back and train up against some wild Pokemon. Because I have no idea how... If I'm going to be on a decent enough level. Yeah, I don't care, dude. You don't need to tell me. So just to be just to be safe, hopefully it'll let me go back. Oh! Does an armor pass please board the train? Do I have an armor pass? I don't even remember. Do you, or, do you have an armor pass? Yeah, of course. I totally have one. Please let me check your pass. Hello. Oh, it's Slowpoke! Uh oh, looks like another one's gotten on the train, ridden over from the Isle of Armor. Alright. Let's do it. I'm slow. We're gonna attempt to catch it. I believe it's level 12. You're Pokemon Trainer, right? Yeah. Silverbox the dig gate will cause trouble over of the customer. Slowpoke are actually pretty heavy. So you think you can catch it for me? Battle Slowpoke? Sure. So? I believe it's level 12. I'm slightly worried. Jesus Christ. Oh, thank goodness. God, that would have taken forever. I did, like, no damage to it. Well, I don't even need to do any more training now. We'll literally see. Get rid of Growl. Yeah, and a Learn Ember and Quick Attack. Very good. 
We're gonna name you Wonder Wedlock. I don't know if I have the the armor pass or not. I don't remember how the DLC works. If you buy it for one, you get it for both or not. Because if it's not, I'll be very upset, actually. Because I paid $30, you know, I have the price of the game. But I'm not going to do it twice. It's not worth it. Thanks so much. Slowpoke Slow can be a big trouble to move sometimes. Wow, amazing. The way you cut the Slowpoke was the absolute coolest. Well, I... I got lucky you didn't actually try to attack me with more than acid, so. We apologize for the way we have checked your armor pass all aboard train with olive armor. Mind your step on boarding. Please be aware there will be a connection along the way. Okay. I'm heading to the place called the Isle of Armor. I'm gonna catch some more Pokemon and do some training. Let's hang out we meet up again, okay? Bye-bye, see you then. I don't know, I like her a little more than Avery, even though it's easier for me to do Avery's voice, because Avery's a dude. <laughs> okay, so do I even have an aisle? I don't know if I do. I will I will legitimately be sort of upset if it doesn't count. But I'm not planning on going to the Isle of Armor anyway. God, that thing had confusion. I knew it did. I was so worried about it. But luckily I didn't use it on my Bulbasaur. Alright, we're gonna we're gonna wonder trade off this this Galarian Slowpoke and get uh, a partner for Dino and then add and then add Dino to the party well the pair to the party and the Dino's name will be Carl because that is the name that I gave to uh, the first competitive Hydreigon that I made in X and Y I also had a female named Karen <laughs> there's a polka doll over here by the the clothing store all right, the trade has been completed. We just need a female, non-dark, or dragon type. A Pharaoh seed. Very interesting. And it's male. Gotta trade it out. Okay. We have, we're trading with the goddess Artemis. <laughs> Dude, there's such a, I mean, yeah, there's obviously a very low chance it is. Dude, <laughs> imagine, just imagine, cause there'd be two Pokemon I've used in Wonder Red Locks. No, it's level... Th How is it level 37? What have you been doing with this Charmander? <laughs> I gotta trade it back off. It's also male. So I guess I just missed this. My original time through the game. <laughs> because this is... In the shop. It's like one of the best shirts. And it is here in the shop. We're gonna put on the Urban Smog shirt. I really actually like that. See, why are his, why is it a duffel bag? You, would you explain that to me? Alright, that's our outfit. <laughs> I spent a good amount of money, but hey, I look better. I feel like he looks actually a little bit more like me now. Okay, finally found a trade partner. I mean, it was mostly because I was buying stuff, so... You know, anyway, train off the Charmander, and it's a Della Bird. Okay. Of course, I wouldn't, you know, be too enthusiastic about it, but it would technically work. Not technically, it would. It is a male, but it is also, well, it is a male. That's what I meant to say. It's level 13, but it's a male. All right. Do, 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 do. Ooh. Uh, actually, Felix is non gendered. If it's a low level, then I can add it, and that would be sick. Um, if you wondered, by the way, uh, with the when it came to the intro, I didn't even mention it that when the Pokeballs appear as they're coming, you can see the, there are too many frames where you can see the actual Pokemon. I couldn't cut those out, so that's why you see a. <laughs> Uh, what do you call it? You see a, a Squavit being traded for it. 
No! Damn it, dude. Oh my gosh, what's that? It's two? That's two so far, right? Is that two or three? I can only remember the Delibird and the Phalanx. Alright. Unfortunately, this person's name is literally one. A Polawag. But in maybe level 60. Because you find them in the Isle of Armor. It's male! I meant to say first was level 1, but it's male! God dang it, dude! Alright, this will be the last one I do for this, and then I will legitimately go... If I don't get something, I will save, I will bring in the Pokemon for Pokemon Home. I was trying to avoid that as much as I can. But, you see, the reason that I added that. Actually, it's, that's literally, I'm just literally getting unlucky. The reason I added that in Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon was not only did I spend a lot of time wonder trading, there was a lot of wonder trash. Alright, anyway. What you gonna send me? A Ralts! Oh, and a Quick Ball. You may be level 60. No! You're level 1 female with Pokerus. Wow. Our next pair is Carl and Cynthia. That is a powerful pair. Oh my goodness. Our entire team is going to get Pokerus as well. Nice. Unfortunately, Carl here has Hustle, which is, uh, I was going to say it's hidden ability. It's not. I'm pretty sure it's not. I don't even know. I don't think they have a hidden ability because Hydreigons is Levitate. Okay, now we're going to actually go to the wild area. <laughs> Spend a ton of time trying to trade out that darn Slowpoke to get me a Pokemon I could use. But we now have two pairs and then we'll be sticking the encounter we get here in the box until we get our next encounter, which is in Motostoke actually. So it, Combi will be our encounter. I should have caught a, fe a female one. So whoever got it could, you know, have a decent Pokemon. Alright, I'm glad I, I think I'm glad I trained up to level 10, just to be safe, but you never know. This is gonna be slightly touch and go because I feel like I'm Ah, oh, you son of a gun. Dude, bug bites as much of a problem in this game as it is in stupid mystery dungeon. At least, right now, because I have berries. Doo -doo -doo. Okay, you do not want to stay in that ball. Hang in there, Nate. Okay, I'm going to have to heal him up. Can I, I was really hoping I could score burn. Um, I am going to heal... Let's see, you were at 25, and it used Bug Bite and Gust. Took 15 health. I'm gonna heal you up. I don't want to lose. I don't want to lose a Pokemon in the first freaking episode. Really? What? Blaze. <laughs> I'm like, Ex of course you crit right now. And then, no crit. What happened? I was low on health, so... You know. Anyway! Great start. <laughs> All right, okay, knocked out my fifth encounter. Let's go. I forgot to turn off the the wild area or the internet. So I guess you guys can let me know how I should do encounters with the wild area because I don't know. There are a ton of areas here, you know, and I did what? 
Use the right, yeah, no kidding, use the right stick to freaking rotate the camera. I've already been doing that, dude. Maybe, if you guys decide that this could be a thing, uh, I get one Max Raid Den encounter as well. Now would be the time to do it because they're all one stars. So basically what I'll do is I will, um, maybe I'll attempt to go fight and catch one. And then post, you know, in like the next episode or something like that, we can trade it out. And see what people say. And maybe even berry trees because people wanted me to do the, to get the, the crib rollers in Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. But it wouldn't be more than one. And it wouldn't be like one per route. It would just be one in general. Alright, let's go on to Motostoke. Cool, this is like literally four episodes, well, three episodes worth of the original playthrough. That we've already completed so far in the Wonder Redlock. It helped that I spit through all that other stuff, but that was just because it didn't matter. And I've done that. For every other window wedlock. But we can get an encounter down there just to the left of where the camera is right now. Uh, you can fish. There's probably another place you can fish too. But. Yeah. That's where we're gonna go. Oh, there's Sony over here. Hey, over here! That's good. Really, I see you to make it through the wild air. It seems like your trek ran your Pokemon ragged, though. You should pop in the Pokemon Center. Says some might have been you get a kick off if you're real kick out of if you're a real trainer and all. God, I cannot speak. Do 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 do. What is it? Looks like a Rotomi's free. Rotomi kind of wrote up my information service. It's a hand machine for trades. You can even use one to customize the lead card. Let's try playing with your lead card a bit. Here's a sample for you. We got Leon's Lee card. Yep. Motostoke sure is big, right? And that's where Sony's here. Show you around a bit. Come find me after you heal up your Pokemon. Open a ceremony, huh? I get a bit worked up when I think about how excited the movement was to actually stand on a stadium as pitch for the first time. Her voice is. I don't even know, bro. It's random. So, my goal is to also not do any of the camping or anything. Because that boosts happiness, and in this game, happiness and affection are combined, so you end up getting more XP. Um, because you get boosted XP when you get to two hearts. So, there is that. I just thought I'd mention it. I'd really prefer you just leave me alone, Sonya. Nothing to do with you, Sonya. I just literally just don't care about tutorial. I've beaten this game so... I was going to say so many times, but it's I've beaten a Pokemon games. That's what I meant to say. <sighs> well, I can't go over there until I talk to Sonya. Damn gatekeeping. Remember your goal, Motostoki, if it's a gym challenge. <laughs> Me. There's a street, and you see shops, so there are shops. Tomatoes and tomato, moose sticky, moose stick. We'll do that in the next episode, though. Um, <laughs> yeah. Laters. Don't forget to register the stadium. I remember that. This was this was Marnie's voice. It was like something like this. So, just as long as I don't do that for Sonya, it's pro probably fine. All right, let's see what haircuts the dude can get, because I don't really know. I hate that you have to pay the money before you actually get to see it. Because I get the clothes, you get to look at it first. Alright. This is kind of what my hair is look getting to look like. It doesn't really look like it at the moment. But that's because I have my headphones on. And yeah, dark brown because that's my hair color. So let's do it. And then I will change eye color. We'll make it more hazel instead of brown. I forgot you can also, you can like change your eyebrows and such. What? Am I? My? I don't. I don't think my eyebrows are necessarily thick. They're they're large, but they're not thick. <laughs> 
So those are hazel eyes. Those are mine. But you also have all these cool ones. And I'm thinking about doing one of these. Just because they're kind of cool. Let's do it. Why not? We're going to do freaking rainbow eyes. Because why the heck not? Let's reprint the lead card. Sure. I might change that because I might get tired of it. Theoretically, if my hair gets long enough, it'll grow out like this. It's already like really... It's hard to see, but like when it gets wet, you can see it's super freaking curly. Right now, it's it like when it dries, it poofs up. <laughs> so it looks stupid. But anyway, let's see what kind of clothes I can buy. Because I'm, I'm kind of caring a little more now how the characters look. There's a lot more... There's a lot of customization in this game, which is... I don't actually want to buy it. I forgot I don't have to click on it to look at it. Dude, I hate, like... See? I'm tapping it once and sometimes it goes two times. Actually a little frustrating. I wish I could take off the bag. What's the point of putting a design on the back that you can't see because of the stupid bag, dude? I hate these boots, but they're better, better color. It's kind of sucks that how like drab and dull the clothing so far i made for my character well it looks oh it looks pretty decent um it's i like to have a lot of color and that's why i always bought those things that had a lot of designs on it when i played as a, as the as olivia i always try to play as the other character just because oh my god i swear i swear what do i have to do to go down there so I don't know when I'm going to be able to get the encounter for Moto Stoke, but that's okay. I think that's a good enough place to end the first episode. So I really hope you all enjoyed. If you did, like, appreciated, um, I might edit my lead card off screen or something. Who knows? But, yeah, you can see requests, like, Pokemon above the level 20 will listen to me, and then tr I can catch Pokemon up to level 20. That's about it at this point. And I hope you all enjoyed the first episode. If you did, like, appreciated. Uh, do let me know about the encounter sort of thing, how we want to do the encounters for the wild area, and the berry tree encounter, if I get one of those or not. That's about it. So, thank you all so much for watching. Really, really enjoyed it. Did like, appreciate it. Make sure to subscribe for more, and I will talk to you all later.